Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just select this whole corner piece, okay, all the bolts and the plates. Then we'll go up to group and we'll just group this as corner and okay. And in the top view here, I just want to rotate this corner up to the uh, top right. Uh, and that's just a personal preference for me. Uh, we're going to do the base out of splines, so I just prefer to work up at the top rather than uh, at the bottom. Okay, so let's go into the hierarchy tab. We'll hit effect pivot only, and let's go up to the boot tool, and we'll right click on that and zero out X and Y. And we'll turn that off, and then we'll just go to rotate and make sure our pivot point stays in the center, and it didn't, so we'll go back to effect pivot only, and we'll hit align to world, okay, just to make sure that's centered with our, our rocker launcher here. Okay, so we can turn the button off, and then I'm just going to rotate 180 degrees up to the top, okay. Alright. Okay, and now we'll, with the corner selected, we'll click on the base like that, and let's just hide everything else. So we'll hide on select it just to get some of that stuff out of the viewport. Okay. So let's zoom in here. Okay. I'm just going to turn my grids back on with G just so I can see where the uh, center lines are. All right. And let's go into the crate panel, into shapes. We'll grab a line. And let's see. Let's start just a little bit down from the edge of this plate in the center here. Okay, so I'm going to click, going to go straight over a bit, and then I'm going to go down on a bit of an angle. Let's do something like that, maybe. Okay, and then we'll go straight over again, and then I'm going to go straight down. Okay, and don't worry if it's perfect, uh, we can adjust it after. Okay, so I'm just going to trace the inside of our uh, corner piece here. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side as I did at the first part. Okay, so let's bring this over straight. Then we'll go on a slight angle. Okay. And then straight across. Okay, and now I'm going to go straight to the center. And you can hold shift and it'll snap your spline straight. And we'll go straight up to where we start it. And click and hit yes to close the spline just so it'll weld that vert for us. Okay, so let's select the base now, and we'll right click and hide select it. Okay, and let's see. Let's go into vertex for the spline, and let's just make sure that all these edges are straight. Okay, so let's grab this one here, and we'll straighten this out. Okay. Let's grab these guys, we'll just move them slightly down. All right. Okay, and let's take these ones here and we'll just push them over um, and try to match it with the edge. Okay, so just like that. Let's straighten this guy out. And I'm just going to put this, the spline slightly inside the uh, corner piece. Okay, just to make sure we don't have any gaps. Alright, so let's move this guy over here. And we'll straighten this one out. Okay, let's straighten it this way, and let's move these ones up. Okay, line them up with that edge. Okay, and we'll bring these ones here just slightly down a bit. Okay, so it looks pretty much even on uh, both sides here. And don't worry if it's perfect, but try to get it as close as you can. Okay, and we'll also straighten out this center one here. Just gonna move that back. Okay. And let's grab both these guys here. And I'm just gonna push them back a little bit past the center line. Okay. And we'll do the same thing here. Select those two. We'll just go down a little bit past the uh, center grid lines. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Let's turn off vertex and we'll turn off our grids. And let's just move this down to the corner. Okay. Just pull that down there. All right. Okay, and let's give this some thickness. So let's 
go into the modify panel we'll put a shell on here okay and let's just do maybe let's do maybe 15 or so for the outer amount okay and I'm just gonna move it down a bit more whoops okay we'll just line the top edge up with the top edge of the corner here okay so just down like that and let me change the color here okay so just like that and let's check the height here okay you can see it comes down a little bit uh, farther than the plate that we have uh, on the bottom so let's just even this out a bit more let's right click and convert this to edible poly to collapse the stack then we'll go into vertex and let's just select all the bottom verts okay we'll just move that up slightly okay so just down a little bit past the bottom of the plate maybe something like that all right okay and then we'll go into the top view here get out of vertex and then we'll go into the hierarchy tab again click on effect pivot only and then we'll right click the move tool we'll just zero out x and y and then we'll close that and turn the button off okay let's go into the modify list again and we're going to put a symmetry on this okay and we'll do x and that looks like it lined up pretty good if you have any gaps between the center lines just uh, drop down into the mirror and just move this until you uh, see them snap together okay so we'll add another symmetry here and let's do this one on the Y okay and same thing here if you have any gaps just adjust the mirror right so that'll give us all four uh, corners of the base uh, just save us some time modeling okay so let's right click and convert this to edible poly Okay, and these edges are a little bit soft, uh, so let's just chamfer this down. Okay, so let's go into polygon. We'll turn on ignore back facing. Okay, let's just select the top four polygons, and we'll do the bottom four as well. Okay, so just these eight. Then we'll control click edge. And we really don't need these center uh, edges selected, so let's turn off ignore back facing. We'll go into the top view. Okay, we'll just hold Alt and deselect the middle edges. Okay, so we just have the outline selected. All right, and let's do a chamfer. Okay, and let's just do maybe 0.8 on that, and then we'll hit apply. And we'll take this one down a little bit lower. Okay, let's do maybe 0.35 on the second one, and then we'll hit OK. All right, just around the corners off. Okay, and the vertical ones are pretty sharp. Let's see. Let's uh, select an edge somewhere on the side. Okay. And we'll do a ring on that. Okay. And let me just go into isolation mode here if all Q so we can see better. Okay, so that'll select all the edges around the sides. All right, and let's do a loop. And we'll deselect those middle edges again. Okay. All right. And let's do another chamfer. And we'll do this a little bit tighter. Let's do. Let's do maybe 0.3 or so on that. And OK. All right. And we'll see how that looks. Okay, that looks decent. So let's exit isolation mode. All right, and let's just change the color to uh, black, and we'll put that gray shader on there. Okay, so not exactly a masterpiece, but uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this one piece. Okay, because we still have a lot to do. Okay, so we'll say that's good, and let's just uh, name this base. 
and then we'll right click and unhide all. Okay, we'll see how this looks. And we still have that box in there from before, so let's just go in here and we'll just select the box. Okay. Now we can just delete that. Alright, so just like that. Okay, and I think we might want to bring the base up just a little bit here. Okay, so we'll go into the front view. We'll select the corner group and the base. Okay, and we'll just move this up slightly. Okay, just bring that up a bit. All right. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Okay, and let's just put this little uh, strip running around the uh, side of the base here on. Okay, we're not actually going to cut the hole in. Uh, so let's just put that in there. So we'll go into the crate panel and let's grab a tube. Okay, and we'll drag that out from the center mark. Okay, and let's get a little bit of width and a little bit of height. Then we'll right click on the move tool and zero out X and Y. Okay, and we'll just move this down so we can see how uh, big it needs to be. Okay, so we'll bring this down. We'll just set it right on the surface of the base. Okay, just like that. And let's go into the modify panel. Let me just change the color of this. Okay, we'll take off the height segments. We don't need those. And we'll bring the height down. Okay. Let's do maybe just one or so on the height. Okay, and we really don't need to turbo smooth the, this piece, so let's just up the sides and we'll do that, say, about 80. Okay, and for the radius, let's see. That actually might be good right there. Let's do, say, about 120 and 115. Okay, for the second radius. Right, and just make sure it's slightly intersecting the surface. Alright, so we'll right click and convert this to edible poly. Okay, and we'll just go into edge here. And we'll select the top two edges and do a loop and a chamfer. Okay, and we'll just do a really small chamfer on that. Let's do maybe 0.15 and okay. Okay, and then I'm just going to go into isolation mode, Vault Q. Okay, we'll come underneath here, go to edge, just grab one of the edges and we'll do a ring and then we'll control click polygon to get all the poly bottom polygons selected and we can just delete those. Okay, so we'll turn off polygon and we'll get out of isolation mode. All right. Okay, so let's uh, put the black color on there and the gray shader. Okay, and we'll just name that something like uh, base strip or something, whatever you like, okay. Right, and let's take another look at the reference here. Uh, you can see we have a couple bolts just on the uh, side of the base here, so let's add those. Okay, and let's, let's take one of the ones from up on the barrel, just so it looks a little different than the ones we've been using. Okay, so let's select this group here and we'll ungroup that. Okay. And we'll just select one of our bolts. If you can get a hold of it, there we go. Right. Okay, and let's just hold shift and we'll just drag a copy off of that. Okay, we'll choose copy. And in the front view I'm just gonna rotate that 90 degrees. Actually we just we actually want it in that direction, don't we? Okay, so just leave it uh, rotated up. Bring this down. Okay, and we'll just figure out where we need to put this. Okay, so let's bring it back this way. And we'll bring it out. Okay. We'll do this in the top view. Okay, so let's put one right here. Right. Let's bring that down a bit. Let's move it a little bit closer to the center mark. Okay, and then we'll hold shift and do another clone in the top view. Okay, just like that maybe. 
Right, and we'll select both of them. And we'll just clone them down again. Okay. Maybe something like that. And okay, so pretty simple. Just give it a little added detail. Okay, so we'll just select the four bolts here. And let's do a group. We'll say base bolts. And okay. Okay, and let's uh, go into the hierarchy tab here. Click on effect pivot only, and let's just zero out the X and Y. Okay, then we'll turn that off. And then we'll just do a mirror. We'll do a copy on the X. And okay. Okay, so there they are over there. They look like they're lined up. Okay, so with that one selected, we'll just select this one over here. Okay, so we got both the groups selected. And then we'll go to rotate. And we'll just hold shift and rotate this around. Okay, 90 degrees. Right? And you can see we're a little bit off here, so let's zoom in. Okay, select these ones here. Let's center the pivot point. We'll just move those back. Okay. And we'll do the same thing down here. Alright, so we'll center the pivot point on this group. And we'll just push that back. Okay, and that's just because I didn't get the uh, splines perfectly even when we did the uh, original spline for the uh, base. Okay. Alright, so just like that. And I think the next thing we'll do is maybe start working on uh, this piece underneath here, okay? Just to get this out of the way so we can make the rest of our uh, copies of the uh, corner piece all at once. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, and I think we'll do this piece out of uh, Edit Poly as well, um, just like we did for the top, uh, rather than doing it out of splines, okay? Just so we don't have to make uh, so many adjustments. Okay, so let's select our corner piece here, and we'll right-click and hide unselect it, okay, just to get some of that stuff out of the viewport. Okay, and let's go into the left view, and let's change this to the right, okay, and let's grab a plane, okay, and let's just figure out the size. Uh, you can see this pretty much starts right at the end of the plate, okay, so we'll come close to the end here. Let's just drag this out. Okay, and let's see. Let's do maybe 7 by 7. Okay. I think that should be about the right size. And let's just take these segments off for now. Okay, so 7 by 7 and uh, one segment each way. Okay, we'll zoom in on this and let's convert it to edit poly. Okay, we'll go into Edge, and let's see, let's do Connect this way, and we'll do two segments, and let's just bring those out. Okay, we'll do it pretty tight, let's do maybe 92 or so on the pinch, and OK, then we'll select these ones here and hit Connect. Okay, and then we'll need one in the middle each way, so let's do another connect on those edges with one segment. No pinch, no slide, and OK. And then we'll select these ones and hit connect again. Okay. And let's go into the shapes and we'll grab another circle. Okay, let's just drag this out. Okay. Let's see. Let's do maybe. 2.2 maybe on the radius. Okay, and we'll just try to center it on these edges. Okay, so just move this up and just try to uh, center it at the intersection. Okay. And we'll go into the modify panel. We'll take the steps down to 1. Okay. And let's also change the color of this to black. Alright, and then we'll reselect our plane. Let's go down to cut. And we'll go up here and turn on snaps. Okay, and if you right click that, just make sure you have vertex ticked. Okay, close that, we'll turn snaps on. And we'll just cut around our circle again. Okay, and we'll finish on the top, so click, then right click to end. And we can turn off cut, and we can turn off snaps. Okay, and we'll just select that circle in there. Okay, and we can delete that. 
Okay, and then we'll go into polygon for the plane. Select the four polys for the holes. Actually, let's uh, go into vertex first. Let's just connect this up into quads. So we'll select this corner one here and this one, and we'll just hit connect. We'll do that for each corner. Okay, so just do a pair at a time. Okay, just like that. Then we'll go into polygon and we'll do an inset. Let's bring that down a bit. Let's do maybe 0.1 or so on that. We want it to be pretty sharp. Okay, and now we'll just delete the polygons. Okay, so just like that. So let's turn off polygon and I'm just going to change the color here. We'll zoom in on this and let's hold shift and we'll just drag a copy on the X again. Okay, we'll line up the uh, right edge of the first piece and the left ed outside edge of the second piece. Okay, try to get them right on top of each other like that. Okay, and then we'll do seven copies. And okay. All right, just so we have this big strip. All right, just like this. All right, and then we'll go over here to attach, and we'll hit that uh, check or that uh, little button there. We'll select all of our planes and attach them together. Okay, and we still need to weld the seams between them. So let's go into vertex, select all the verts. Okay, and then we'll open up weld and uh, point 0.1 should be enough to weld uh, all the seams. So hit OK. Right. And let's just move this into position. Okay, so in the top view I'm just going to pull it uh, over to the edge. Okay. Okay, and it looks like it's sticking out maybe a little bit uh, where it starts curving. Uh, ours is a little bit much. So we could either push it back underneath farther like this, uh, or we could just trim the end off. I think I'll just cut the end off the last poly, uh, plane here. Okay. So let's just select all the polys on this uh, plane here. Let's grow that once. Okay, just to the seam here, and let's we'll delete that. Okay, just so it fits a little bit better. All right, so let's do a shell. Okay, and you can see this is pretty much a, a square shape. Okay, so let's bring this out a bit more. And let's do maybe five on the outer amount. Okay, so we'll right click and convert that down to a poly. Let's go back into edge. And we'll select an outside edge here. We just want to add a couple support edges this way, so we'll do a ring and a connect. Two segments, and let's just pinch those out. Do about 90 or so on that, and OK. And then we'll select an edge on the inside of each hole. Let's turn on our back facing before we do that. OK, so just select one edge on the inside of each one. And then we'll ring. And we'll do another connect. Okay, and we'll do that also about 90 and okay. Alright. And let's center its pivot point. And we'll move it back into position. Okay, so just underneath these bolts here. Okay, maybe something like that. We'll just center it uh, to the bolts. Okay. And we'll also move it back slightly towards the end. Okay, maybe just like that, and let's push it up just a little bit, just so it's intersecting the uh, base of the plate. Okay, like that. And we're going to turbo smooth this piece. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can leave it like this. I mean, it's a small detail on the whole model, but uh, I'm just going to put a turbo smooth on mine so that the holes are round. Okay, so we'll do turbo smooth with two iterations and ice line. Okay, we'll just check it out, make sure that's okay. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so let's change the color of that. All right, apply our material to it. And we'll also name it, and let's just call this something like uh, maybe corner. Whoops. 
and we'll do wire tie down or something like that just so we know what it is okay and you can see we have another one down here uh, that these go through okay so let's maybe just clone that down okay so I'm just gonna hold shift and just drag a copy on the Y okay and I'm not sure uh, where exactly we need that because we don't have the base in yet okay so let's see that might be a little far apart let's move it up maybe a little bit more okay we'll leave it something like that for now okay so let's unhide everything okay 